Anton Yelchin's sudden death shocked and horrified Hollywood, but the final message on his gravestone is as beautiful as it is haunting. In 2016, Anton Yelchin died at the age of 27 in a horrifying accident outside his LA home. One year later, Yelchin was moved from Mount Sinai Cemetery in LA after his parents learned that Mount Sinai would not allow the type of memorial they had in mind for their son. Yelchin, the only child of Russian immigrant figure skaters, is now buried at Hollywood Forever Cemetery, the final resting place of stars such as Rudolph Valentino and Judy Garland. In 2017, the Yelchin remembrance at Hollywood Forever was unveiled in a star-studded memorial service. Today, a tribute to the late actor stands on the site with a message engraved on the gravestone. That message references the late star's untapped potential in the film industry, and even, in some sense, the boundless possibility represented by Yelchin's most notable role as Chekhov in the Star Trek reboot films. You'll also find a life-size bronze statue at his resting place, and a memorial plaque with a birth date, but no death date. Instead, the plaque reads, Forever. Yelchin was born in St. Petersburg, Russia in 1989. At a time when the Soviet Union was collapsing and anti-Jewish sentiment was on the rise, Yelchin's family moved to Los Angeles. He was just six months old. Yelchin's mother, Irina Korina, told the Los Angeles Times that someone once remarked about Yelchin, he's beautiful, he will be an actor. That prediction came true, and Yelchin was embraced by those he worked with in the entertainment industry. After his death, J.J. Abrams, who directed Yelchin in two Star Trek movies, wrote a note and posted a photo of it on X, formerly Twitter. It read, you were brilliant, you were kind, you were funny as hell and supremely talented, and you weren't here nearly long enough, missing you. Meanwhile, Star Trek co-star Zachary Quinto said, Beautiful, beautiful guy. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know how to talk about it. In 2016, Yelchin was trapped by his Jeep Grand Cherokee when it unexpectedly rolled backward down the driveway outside the actor's Los Angeles home. It subsequently pinned him against a brick column, in 2018, Yelchin's parents settled a wrongful death lawsuit against the vehicle's manufacturer, Chrysler Fiat. The automotive company recalled more than one million vehicles of the same make and model as Yelchin's for an issue with the gear shifter. The same issue had caused several other accidents prior to Yelchin's death. At the time that the family suit was filed, Yelchin's father, Victor Yelchin, said, In spite of our unbelievable grief, we decided to come here to prevent other families from the same tragedy. Today, a bronze statue of Yelchin stands at Hollywood Forever. At the life celebration service revealing Yelchin's memorial, pictures from throughout Yelchin's life were displayed alongside a fan-made Star Trek mural. While we don't know exactly why Anton Yelchin's parents chose to write forever instead of an official death date at his gravesite, it isn't hard to imagine why. Yelchin's parents moved into his home after he died, reportedly unable to part with the house he'd been obsessed with. They later described still being able to sense their son. Victor Yelchin told the Los Angeles Times, It's difficult, but we feel his presence. We're closer to him, even if it's very hard. Yelchin's mother Irina also described not only sensing her son's presence, but also the lingering and traumatic effects of Yelchin's sudden death. She said simply of the driveway where Yelchin died, It's hard to walk there. Yelchin's parents also once received a reminder from Yelchin's co-star, John Voigt, about the need to ensure that others remember Yelchin too. Victor and Irina openly told Voigt at one point that they didn't see any reason to live anymore. In reply, Voigt reportedly said, Why? You have to live. Make a documentary and keep his memory alive. That documentary, 2019's Love on Tosha, memorializes Yelchin with grace and sensitivity. Victor and Irina Yelchin said it was painful to make the documentary, having to revisit memories and watch old videos, but added that it was an important way to honor their son. Irina told the Los Angeles Times, with this movie, it was difficult because everyone knows the end. It can't be changed, and you can't avoid it. But I think people will love it, because even though everyone knows the end, they're still smiling and laughing. We had the best baby in the world.